So John, here's number 14. They give you some information about a student using 1.34 grams of silver to produce silver nitrate. They tell you the actual yield was 2.01 grams and they want you to find the percent yield and they've given you the balanced equation. So what you're gonna do is very similar to what we did today on the board. You're gonna take the 1.34 grams of silver, that's what you're starting with, you're going to convert that to moles of silver, just like you did in the last problem. Then you're going to go from moles of silver to moles of silver nitrate. And that's a three to three or one to one relationship because you can see they both have a coefficient of three in the balanced equation. And then you're going to go from moles of silver nitrate to grams of silver nitrate. And that's going to give you the theoretical yield. That means like if everything went perfectly and you got as much of the silver nitrate out as possible, you should get 2.11 grams. I carried it out to two decimal places or three sig figs because that's what you were given in the problem. I did round a little bit on my um, amounts for the grams. So you might want to talk to your teacher about where to round back like the 107.9. That was a rounded value for me and the 169.9 also. So I don't know how picky your teacher is about that. But then to find the percent yield, that's not difficult at all. You just take the actual yield, which they gave you in the problem was 2.01 grams, and you divide that by the theoretical yield. That was what you had to calculate, and that was 2.11. And then you multiply by 100 to convert that to a percentage. So when I did that, I think you can see my work there, I got 95.3%. So I hope that's good for number 14. So John, here's number 15. It's a similar type problem, only now we're dealing with lead chromate, and there's a student that's gonna prepare the paint pigment chrome yellow, which is lead chromate. They started with 5.52 grams of lead nitrate. So what I noticed, first of all, is they're giving you four sig figs. So my answer is gonna be carried out to four sig figs, and we can talk about sig figs the next time we meet. So the actual yield of the lead chromate was 5.096 grams. So they're giving you the actual yield. They want you to calculate the theoretical yield, which is exactly what we did in number 14, and then find the percent yield. So this is gonna be set up very similarly to the last couple of problems. You're gonna start with what you're given, that 5.52 grams of lead nitrate. You're gonna convert that to moles of lead nitrate. And you can see down below in blue, I showed you how I calculated the molar mass for lead nitrate. You have one lead, you have two nitrogens, and you have six oxygens. That six oxygens is um, from the two nitrates, but there are three oxygens within each nitrate molecule. So two times three is six there. And so then I did two times 14 to get 28 and six times 16 to get 96. And there again, I did round a little bit, but my total comes out to 331.2 grams per mole for the lead nitrate. So that's how I got that next number right here in the problem. You have one mole of lead nitrate for every 331.2 grams of lead nitrate. Now I wanna to get to my product, which is the lead chromate. So I have to look at the balanced equation and you can see that you have one uh, mole of lead nitrate that produces one mole of lead chromate. So when there's no coefficient there, it's a one. So I have a one-to-one -one relationship there. So that won't actually change my numbers, but it does change which units you're in. In other words, now you've your moles of lead nitrate, I can cancel those out, and I'm now in moles of lead chromate. And so now I can convert those moles of lead chromate to grams of lead chromate. And I again, I've shown my work down below. Lead, again, is 207.2, chromium is 52, and four oxygens, four times 16 is 64. So I added that up to get the 323.2 grams of lead chromate for every mole of lead chromate. So at that point, now I can cancel my moles of lead chromate and I'm in just grams of lead chromate. When I did the math there, plugged it into my calculator, I got 5.418 grams of lead chromate. And again, I carried that to the third decimal place, or in other words, four sig figs, because that's what they were given in the problem. And then to get the percent yield, so I took the actual yield, 
which they said was 5.096, so that goes on the top, and then you divide that by the theoretical yield, that's the yield you calculate, which I got 5.418, and then you multiply by 100, and that should give you your percentage. Obviously, I got 94.06. So I hope this helps. Feel free to stop by tomorrow, and we can talk more about this. Have a good night.